thanks everyone for coming. Um, really appreciate it. Um, uh, as always, these means are recorded for the people who can't be here. Um, but so if that's a concern, uh, please let me know now or after the fact, and we can try to figure out something. Um, my uh, my agenda is uh, is uh, pretty straightforward today. Um, I actually just have it in a Word document because there's things we need to edit and uh, as we go. So I will share my screen quick, and we can go there. Um, the uh, big things are the RFP, uh, the videographer, uh, the website. Uh, we also have to do a um, update on the social event and uh, what we need to do there and what needs to be done. And um, I think those are it for now. Um, I, I wanted to... I wanted to toss out one other idea okay. I thought of in the last few days, which is, um, you know how during at least last year, uh, I was with Qualcomm, we had a booth in the expo area and people mm -hmm. sort of milled around the booth and we used it as an informal meeting room, but it wasn't really a meeting room. It was like mm -hmm. one little table. Yeah. Um, what I thought would be really cool, and I don't know if we could fit this into the budget or if the Linux Foundation would agree, but could we have a meeting room or would it cost much more to have a meeting room set aside as um, a sort of informal meeting place in the, maybe just the day before, like Wednesday? And the other thing I thought of with that is that, you know, then people can hang around and do more hands-on and interactive discussions about OpenWRT maybe show some demos. Maybe we could invite people to come a day early to, um, you know, show their projects. Cause there were a number of project based companies last year who got a little presentation, but didn't really have a chance to show it off. Mm -hmm. uh, we could, I mean, we can look into that. I'm in other words, it would be completely informal, it, you know, conference room, blah, 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 or meeting room, whatever it is. And uh, this is sort of just an open WRT lounge, if you will. Open WRT lounge. Or maybe it could just be the purple lounge, right? Here's the purple lounge. I just, you know, I wanted to word it in a way to the Linux Foundation such that it wouldn't be yet you know, another multi-thousand dollar cost. <laughs> you know what I mean? I suspect that pretty much anything with Linux Foundation is a multi-thousand dollar cost. Um, I. We can try. I mean, I I don't know. Um, okay. Yeah, we just we did sign the contract, so it's going to be a little more difficult now. Um, but it's probably we can give it a try. Um, we'll have to. Th we'll talk about how we can word that. I'm not exactly yeah. sure offhand. Um, and how to how to make that uh, make that. Yeah, powerful. if you if you have a point of contact, at least just just say, hey, could yeah. there be a a, a room we can hang out in because you know you get those just lounge areas but nobody knows really where to meet right mm -hmm. yeah and if we had a, a a known meeting spot then i see that happen a lot where people engaged in the same project or something will kind of hang out and they might fit at one table but then when it needs to expand they can't and anyway yeah we look at that yeah it's not a bad idea. Because you guys don't have a booth, right, for purple? No. No. Yeah. And I won't have a booth. So I was just thinking, where's where's the focal point during the rest of the week, Tuesday, Wednesday? And maybe just, you know, again, maybe it could be just Wednesday. Basically. Yeah. It's a good question. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure. Okay. So think about that, yeah. All right. Well, we can get started uh, with uh, the other stuff too. Uh, the RFP. Um, so I'd sent out the draft too. Um, are we happy with it? I guess that's my my first question. Do we do we want to go forward with it as is? Yes, for me, from my point of view, it's okay. Okay. I generally it's think good. it is too. 
Yeah. Yeah, it looks good yeah. to me. Eric. Okay. So yes, we'll put that down. <laughs> yes, we are happy with it. Um, when's the deadline? I came up with August twenty sixth. I don't. It was the, if I remember right, it's about a month. It's an end of a. It's a Friday. It's the last Friday in August. Seems to be a good day. We could change, do it to a different day, but I mean, what do people think? What are the considerations for the deadline? Um, I mean, the presumably big... there's there's time before hand, so time between announcing and so people can actually get their get their get their presentations in uh, or get their proposals in. Um, the issue of uh, we need to have a enough time to um, evaluate the proposals but still have time for people then obviously to if they get accepted to you know get their um, you know get have enough time to get ready for mm -hmm. to get there and all that kind of stuff their logistics um, so it, it we probably won't want to go any later than that because then it becomes if you take a week or two to do proposals, then it becomes, well, that's the middle of, of September and that's less um, almost less than a month. Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't want to go much later. Um, potentially you might want to go earlier, except then, then people have less time to come up with proposals. Mm -hmm. Last year we did give a, give a date. Um, it was, I think three weeks or something we gave. People did not get enough proposals in in time and we extended it by a week. Um, and then we get enough proposals, so. Fine. All right. Yeah, mm, that sounds good then. Okay. So. Okay. What, what... Or, or yes. should we say, a week earlier and then extend it again to to get like that fire under people? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> that's yeah. That's not a bad idea. Um. I I'm. I kind of like that idea. So we Put it a do week it, before. Do it the nineteenth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. It means there are only three three weeks, and uh, because yeah. of holidays and so on, some people will will get it um, maybe one week before or something. Or so. Uh, well, we we have to we have to take into account that now now many people are yeah. somewhere on holidays and it. It the, the well the time uh, I mean is 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 worse than than usually so that yeah but I, I agree that we, we have to have time to to extend it so either we have to be sure that we can extend after twenty sixth one more week or that if we can't then then it, let's move it to August nineteenth okay yeah I I don't think we can extend it if it's the twenty sixth. I mean, we could extend it by like you know a few days, but we couldn't extend it by a week. Um, I think that would be really difficult. Okay, so let's let's do nineteen and, and hope that uh, and, and count with it that that we will be able we, we we will extend it probably. Okay. Sure. I think it's the the point is more that we get people thinking that there is less time than there actually is. And then that yeah, last week, yeah, yeah, as you yeah, said, yeah. Eric, that last week, everybody kind of nails it because they realize they're out of time. Mm -hmm. but yeah, and, option. and the goal is to get the majority of the major proposals in and you can always tweak things even mm -hmm. after the fact, but we need some structure to schedule around. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, when do we want to send <coughs> the uh, RFP? As soon as possible. Yeah, yeah no. happy with that. Generally, we'd agree. Um, now today or tomorrow, I think. As long as we don't have any issues. Um, so this is kind of one of the things that I think we need to we need to um consider is is where do we want the list to be sent out to, or what are the where are the lists we want to send out to. Um, this is also kind of sensitive because you don't want to be like spamming people, but at the same time, you want to make sure that it's actually getting under people's radar. Um, 
and I think it would be appropriate for people who last year I sent out all the emails. I don't actually think that makes any sense because we have people in all these groups who are involved, who are on the, the planning committee. It would make more sense for them to send it out. Um, That's a really good point. We should have uh, Hauke send it out to lead mailing lists and mm -hmm. Luca, you know, send it out to the the villain users and um, uh, Federico would probably be good for battle mesh. Yeah. Obviously we have to get people's agreement. Well, he could send it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, exactly. He, if he, someone who's a member of a list that seems related, go ahead and send it yeah. out to that list. Basically. Definitely. Um, are there any other lists that we can think of that we would really like to put um, on the radar? The only thing I can suggest, uh, I don't know if we have an email list or whether it would be a, a blog in the second section there, but the creator projects, people who are involved in that went on the Kickstarter. I mean, our uh, CI40 runs open WRT. They may or may not be interested. Okay. And, I, and yeah. I can... Uh, I can send it out on the Arduino.org blog because we definitely use it. Okay. Yeah, for for myself, I think we will put it on just on Twitter to to let our users know about it and yeah, and we will probably okay. point to to if if there is a blog post on the purple purple uh, works, yeah. purple website, then we may may link to this uh, it or yeah. we will link directly to the web page of the of the summit yeah I, I think the blog post on the purple one is probably just going to be the announcement with perhaps a little introduction that I don't mm -hmm. okay. the, the RFP. that's okay i, don't know, that's I think okay. that's fine makes sense yeah. um creator um all right uh, paul was going to do that um twitter Better what the heck's your project's name? Tourist. There we go. Tourist, yes. Yes. Zone for a second. Um, do we have any others that we can think of? That do we, we have a list from last summit that we could send it out? You know, just a BCC to the people who attended last time to say, mm. push this out to your community? Do we have a list of all those I'm emails? I'm thinking, if I remember correctly, we don't, and the because the Linux Foundation couldn't give it to us based on their privacy policy. Uh, okay. Um, well, at I least think, the people who responded to the survey. <laughs> I guess that wasn't very. Yeah, the ten people who responded. <laughs> um, what I can do is I can actually check because we may actually be able to email those people, if, if Linux Foundation does it for us. Um. Yeah, I mean, most of those people are probably on the other mailing list anyway. Mm -hmm. it, it's just kind of more of a... Yeah. Um, yeah, definitely. No, I agree there. Uh, how else are... Any other ways we want to uh, publicize this? Not that I can think of. Yeah, nothing comes to mind. Um, our PR people can handle that. Yeah, and when when will the Linux Foundation post or show it as part of? They the actually have it up yeah. right now. Oh, great. Okay. Cool. Um, we we have to change some of the uh, wording, the the language. They just used the language from last year, and it it's phrased wrong. But um, but is registration already open? Yes. It's all available. Sweet. That's what they told me, at least. I, I could okay. I'll, to... Maybe I'll go try to do it just yeah. to see if it works. Definitely. I don't think I have the link for the red, the direct registration right now. I have to, I'd have to talk to... I have to check my email. Does registration work?
Um. All right. I think that's it then. Um. So I I I think I would encourage everybody to you know you don't have to wait to outside of right now. I mean, we'll obviously we'll email the. I'll email the summit committee list and ask people and also ask Luca how he and Federico directly. Um, but there isn't really a need to wait if you want to publicize it via your whatever way you want to do. If you want to link to the Purple Works post, just you know wait for me to put that up. Uh, I'll I'll tell people when that's up. It should be a few minutes, or, uh, or it should be today. I mean, um, all right. Um, I uh, I did. I actually asked uh, on the next topic, I asked the videographer from last year, Ryan Taylor. He did a great job last year. He did it for very low cost. Um, he, I actually asked him, I was just like, are you available? He's actually in Berlin right now. So it's very, there's, it's even, it's even cheaper for him to come now. Um, he is very happy to do it again. And he actually has uh, the ability this year to, for the live, uh, the live po um the uh web the webcam the, the stream he can uh merge in the uh slides as it goes because last year we just could see the person um speaking during the, during the live stream but you couldn't see their slides um he actually has the the equipment now to merge that all together as it goes and then and then do that live so that's even better um but i i asked him i didn't really feel the the committee needed to approve that it was kind of straightforward he did a great job i don't see a reason why we want on to and he was very happy to do it again so um he will be doing it again this year um uh one thing that kind of came up is is uh we have the the wiki page and it, and it works very well um, and, you know, Shandis was very helpful in, in getting it ready for this year. And, you know, I worked with her on that. Uh, one thing that I thought of, it'd be nice to have a separate website, just a promotional thing that is uh, not as closely related to Purple and is a little more professional than a wiki. Um, to me, that seems kind of straightforward and a, and a pretty, seems like a positive idea. Um, so I've actually uh, contacted somebody who, who um, a good designer that I uh, work with at my co-working space. He's going to do it for a few hundred dollars. Um, seems like a good idea. So we will uh, that. I guess we'll, that'll probably actually be still be summit.purplefoundation.org unless we want to come up with a different URL. Um, I don't know if openwrtsummit.org is available, but we could do that if people want. Um, so if there are any thoughts good. on that. Yeah, yeah. So, sounds great. Good idea. Yeah. Awesome. All right. So we will, that'll probably be up. Um, we'll have that up in a few days. He's, he's supposed to have it done in a few days. Um, just a update on the social event. Uh, Shandis, could, you, you had mentioned that you had, had reached out to some people. Have you had any, um, any update there? Um, I've reached out to about seven different um, venues and heard back from three so far. So mm -hmm. um, um, I'm getting estimates somewhere around 500 pounds a day um, to book a room for about four hours. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't know exactly what range you're looking for because um, – I'm not sure how much you spent last year, but um, I'm putting together all the numbers and stuff. I can send you that. You're, you're getting okay. quotes in euros or pounds? In euros. Sorry. Euros. Okay. Okay. So this is for the for the the nighttime social event. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't. So Shandis, I can do. You, do you have a contact in Berlin? I do not know. No. Because I, I will put you in contact with Maureen, who's a uh, uh, gal. She's a professor at some university there and on the education side, and she's in Berlin. So um, let me see if she would be able to help you out from a, 
oh, I know those places, or I don't know those places, or I could visit those places. Um, oh, that'd be great. That Thank might you help, too. Mm -hmm. So you could probably narrow the list just from a price and size and feature mm -hmm. standpoint, and then maybe she could help yeah, you select the best. Definitely. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I don't think five. I, I I don't think booking the room the the five hundred euros is like un wildly unreasonable. I think last year we were fortunate and we got a place that was only a hundred euros, and then we just bought bought oh my the food God. and stuff. Wow. But I think yeah. we were just kind of lucky more than anything, because um, that is very low. I would tend to think. Um, yeah. The other thing is, is I mean, I guess the general cost of what food is going to be, obviously, it's mm -hmm. that's a very vague question of how much is food. Well, obviously, it varies, but um, mm -hmm. kind of a sense would be good to have of uh, okay. you know, what the options are and things like that. Mm -hmm. Well, um, all the, like, I've contacted hotels and they've come with, like, additional food service as price estimates, so... Um, I don't know. They they feel a little bit steep um, for uh, like coffee breaks and stuff. It's like yeah, hotels. Tend to, yeah, hotels tend to be much more expensive than a venue that you can get. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Really, um, you know, I think we're. I think you're probably going to get better luck with just like, like a bar that you know, just a a, a more um like a separate independent independent bars are probably going to be more reasonable and probably fit a little better mm -hmm. um so yeah. those that like last year okay. where they had an upstairs separate that you could yeah. go to, stuff like that mm -hmm. that's that's again where i think maureen could help because she could go check it out and say oh yeah there's this nice separate space yep. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right is there, are there any other questions that you have, Shandis, to, to help you with this? Um, I, I don't know if you have this information, but um, if you have um, some of the, um, what is it, like prices from last year that I could base it off of, that would be great. I just like, I don't want to present some, something that's unreasonably expensive. Sure. I mean, yeah. I, I'll have to. I'll have to look. I'm not even really sure where we have it. Um, okay. No problem. But yeah, I can look. Yeah. That'd be great. Um, Thank you. Definitely. Yeah. It, I remember it being. It wasn't. It, I think the. The room was like a hundred euros, um, and then we paid for the food and the drinks, that were just whatever okay. the cost was. Um, so. Okay. And we had like finger food. It was it was probably less than we should have gotten, but um mm -hmm. yeah, we needed more... a little more variety. <laughs> yeah, it was it was less than we needed, admittedly. I kind of assumed it was going to be a little little uh more more than it was. So um yeah. So I could I can try to get that to you. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. All right. Um, those are the things that I have on my list. Um, what else do do folks have? Anything that feel the need to talk about? Need to bring up? I, I maybe just have a question about about timing. You said you are preparing a special special web page for the summit. Yes. Uh, I, I, it, it would be nice to have it available when we send the RFP. RFP, but uh, from what you said, I believe it's not probably not possible to have it soon or uh, what's, the, what's the status. I had the the guy I'm working with. Um, he said he'll either have it done today, but he's if it's not done today, it's off, he's off tomorrow and Friday and the weekend. So the earliest he would have it is Monday. So. It's kind of a, we can try to wait, uh, you know, till hopefully it's up and everything's ready by the end of the day. Um, if it's not, then we would, 
if we wanted to wait for that, it'd be Monday night. We can't. I don't think we can wait that long for the RFP. So, um, yes, I agree. Yeah, I mean, it's that's really. What do people want to do? Do we want to wait and hope that we can get it up today? And if we don't get it up today, then just send it out tomorrow and link people to the wiki page as is, which has all the information. It just it's not as a pretty a format. Yes, the, the, this sounds reasonable to me. OK, we don't have much time, so let's do it like this. Yeah, we'll do that. If if the site's up today, I'll let everyone know. Um, and then we can we can send out the RFP linking to it. If not, then we'll just link to the wiki page and it's got everything. So all right, that's the plan. Okay. Um any other uh any other uh questions or or comments or things we want to talk about? Nope. Mm -hmm. awesome. do, do we have a next call scheduled yet? That's actually a good question. Um, we do not have an next call scheduled. We can, um, do we think we need one next week? That seems pretty no. soon. I don't no. think so. Probably the 10th. That gives us kind of a, we're in the middle. We'll see. I mean, obviously with any sort of RFP people, it's heavily loaded towards the end, but we can see if how many proposals we have, get a sense of where we are and well, we might as well do the 17th then, because that's closer to the deadline. True. Um, I'm wondering if we have any other stuff that needs to happen before then, though. Um, just any updates on any of the social event stuff. and We can wait Could till be. 17th, too. I, I am, I'm... Well, I can, maybe we can do 10th, and, and if we have nothing, we can just decide on the, on the mailing list to postpone yeah. it. I think that seems good. Okay. Awesome. All right. So we'll plan in the tenth at our uh, normal, um, our normal eight a.m. Pacific time, um, unless somebody feels their a different time is better, um, and then we can we can go from there. Okay. Awesome. Right. Well, um, thanks everyone for joining, and uh, I'm looking forward to uh, to the RFP. So. Um, we will uh, be in touch and we'll have to make sure we get that out uh, tomorrow. Okay, great. great. Thanks. Thanks, yeah, everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.